That was the spiritual beginning for this most beautiful day. Every flower is a soul blossoming in nature. It delicate to uh, touches have us all in an acceleration. Floral tribute by our faculty members. <laughs> Women have been the ones who are doing so much work behind the scenes and are never credited for it. Such a beautiful way of adoring a wonderful woman and her achievements are today's highlights. If anything, this dynamic lady is selfless by heart and wiser in nature and stronger because of the experience she had, who is none other than our dearest Dr. Kamala Mama. Giving encouragement to others is the most welcoming gift and for the results of it, they are lifting the spirits, increasing self-worth and hoping future. I quietly greet Dr. S.S. Vijayanjali, ma'am, professor and head of Department of Home Science to start a day with a welcoming address. Over to you, ma'am. Good morning, dear students. Good morning, Prasika. Respects to the founders of our institute. Am I audible? Yes. Respects yes, to the founders of our institute, GRI, Dr. GR Mama and Soundra Mama. Respects to my guru, Dr. Ayan Kamalama. <coughs> Good morning to all. At the outset, I am pleased to welcome our Vice Chancellor in charge, Dr. T.T. Ranganathan, sir, Professor in Agriculture and Animal Studies. Sir, in his busy schedule, sir has accepted our invitation and joined with us today for uh, delivering the inaugural address in Dr. N. K. N. Kamalama Memorial Endowment Lecture. Thank you for accepting our invitation, sir, and I welcome you, sir. I am honored to welcome <coughs> our beloved Madam Dr. G. Pangajam, former Vice Chancellor of the Gandhigram Rural Institute, also the alumnus of our department, uh, who always supports us in all our endeavors of our department. Today, Madam has accepted our invitation and she is with us to share her reminiscence of our Madam, Dr. N. Kamalama. Thank you, Madam, for accepting our invitation and I welcome you to this program. <coughs> and I'm happy to welcome the guest speaker of uh, Dr. N. Kamalama Endowment Lecture, <coughs> Dr. G. Paran Gowda, sir, 
Professor, Department of Yoga Science, University of Patanjali, Haridwar, who is <coughs> here to present the technologies popularized by Dr. N. Kamalama. Sir, we are waiting to cherish the technologies as well as the memories of our madam, Dr. N. Kamalama, through your lecture. Thank you for accepting our invitation and welcome you, sir. I am glad to welcome our learner professors from various departments who have joined us uh, to this program. I am privileged to welcome the family members of Dr. N. Kamalama, dear Tambi Chetan, Shyamna Chechi, and all the other members who have all joined to this program, and I welcome you to this program. I cordially welcome the coordinator of the program. Without her, this program will not be uh, Hello today, Dr. K. S. Pushpa, Professor in Home Science, also the alumnus of our department, who has coordinated the program. I thank you for coordinating the program, Madam, and I welcome you. I welcome all the faculties of our department, the teaching, the non-teaching staff, and uh, my dear student friends to this uh, endowment lecture. Once again, and I welcome you all on behalf of the department and on my own behalf. Thank you. Welcome you all. That was a splendid welcoming note. Thank you, ma'am. Everything is easy when you're busy, but nothing is easy when you're lazy. By Swami Vivekananda. I cordially invite Dr. T. T. Ranganathan, sir, Vice Chancellor in charge, GRI, to give inaugural address. Over to you, sir. Sir, unmute your audio, sir. Yes. Yes, now it's okay. Mm. Uh, uh, good morning to all. The most respected of our former Vice Chancellor, Dr. Pangajamama, uh, respected uh, Dr. Parankoda the guest speaker for this uh, uh, endowment lecture on uh, our uh, madam uh, dr kamalamma uh, professor of patanjali patanjali institute uh, professor and head of uh, home science dr vijayanjali dr pushpa professor of uh, home science dr kavitha madiri associate professor and learned, uh, learned faculties of uh, home science and uh, family members of uh, Dr. Kamalama and my dear friends. Uh, it is a great privilege for me to give you an inaugural address uh, on uh, Dr. Kamalama's endowment lecture being organized by uh, the Home Science Department every year. Uh, really a great, uh, that is a service they are doing to organize this lecture every year and in the memory of our uh, Dr. Kamalama uh, who is uh, in our uh, who served in our institute for more, for more than 40 years? Because uh, since my uh, join in the institute, uh, she I am closely <coughs> associated with her. She is uh, taking a lot of initiative uh, in uh, in the village uh, development programs, especially the te technology transfer among the villages. Even uh, still, I can uh, remember recall my memory. It is uh, in uh, Ramnavaram village. Uh, we have stayed there with uh, Dr. Kamalama and uh, over uh, several nights, and uh, and we have uh, and she is doing a lot of uh, there is a small small technologies to be disseminated to, to, to the people of uh, local people. Uh, so he has taken a lot of uh, initiative uh, to popularize the technologies to the to the villages of our nearby areas, not only Ramnavaram. Even in the Chetty Putti and other our, our service villages, she is uh, regularly visiting apart from our academic work. So uh, it is a great honor for, for her to, uh, to, uh, to have a, uh, there is a, uh, an endowment lecture on her uh, recalling the technologies populated by our, our, our beloved uh, Dr. Kamalama. For this, uh, it is a, it is the right time dr paran gowda uh, uh, the speaker has been invited uh, we all know very well know about him uh, since uh, in, uh, he was working in kendra he is a man of uh, that is uh, action 
and taking a lot of initiative for the small small technologies uh, through the kendra he has done a lot of initiative now he is working in patanjali institute so it is a great honor for jri to be, a, be to, to be with us in giving the lecture uh, uh, likewise our uh, former vice chancellor dr pangajam uh, madam also joined together joined with us uh, uh, madam also uh, that is a uh, since her vice chancellorship she is uh, uh, she, she is uh, encouraging all the staff members to take part in uh, village development or village uh, technology transfer by gandhigram to the villages so uh, this is a uh, this is a rare uh, combination of all uh, speakers uh, we are joined together for this lecture so on this occasion uh, i i uh, i am thankful to the organizers to give me uh, the opportunity to uh, to give you a in our address uh, uh, on this uh, on this um, uh, endowment lecture organized by the uh, department of home science in the memory of dr gamalamma thank you one and all thank you thank you sir for your thoughtfulness and remembrance about dr gamalamma acknowledging the good that you are already have in your life is the foundation for all the abundance i happily greet dr k s pushpa professor department of home science gri to share her heartfelt thoughts about the endowment lecture over to you ma'am yeah thank you sri guru bio namada dr kamala ma'am was my guru friend silanka sir and guide so i am happy to invite you all the first endowment lecture yeah the first uh, endowment lecture today which was instituted by the family members of dr kamalamma my daughter mrs meena and dr kp geeta and sanandla mr murli taran and uh, mr gobal kumar grandchildren dr vidya mr vinay krishnan mr atul and akil and other family members and uh, uh, respected sir dr tt ranganath and mr anil ninja beloved madam dr g pangajan eldest sister of home science family and former vice chancellor of gri and a very close associate of dr kamalamma and dr paranji a close associate of uh, dr kamalamma uh, if i am if i am correct from 19th onward dear colleagues department teaching staff and non teaching staff technical staff member other department professors faculty members student friends family members of dr kamalamma and all others their family they gave a money of about 1 lakh to create the endowment in the name of dr kamalamma and the endowment was officially approved and created on 2011 2021 they insist on every year on 21st january the department has to organize endowment lecture for the benefit of student because dr kamalamma who was uh, instrumental in uh, taking technologies to rural area and in uh, lives of many students she is living now even now and she always um her flyer was to develop technology even after retirement in the year 20, 2005 after settling in uh, trivandrum 
she started developing some technology out of kitchen way even she was very much interested in developing a small solar dryer with her name dr shamla for drying of coconut even till 2019 she was guiding phd students of university of kerala and mg university kottayam her last candidate submitted her thesis on green energy so she is very much interested in taking developing technology and taking technology to rural area that is her trusty areas of interest her specialization was home management but um, she is uh, real practicing home science person who uh, apply whatever she has learned in home science in her day to day life so on this day not only this day even for all day we remember her for her contribution in the field of home science she had her own name in ministry of science and technology so with this few words i would like to thank the family member who have contributed for creation of endowment in the name of dr kamilamma this is the second endowment to our department the first endowment was instituted by dr g pangajam in the name of dr t s soundaram so we organize that uh, endowment lecture every year in october and uh, this endowment lecture in january 21 both days coincide both days are on 21st every year so i thank one and all for uh, listening to our endowment lecture a few words about uh, dr paranji paranji used to come and discuss with the dr kamilamma about the technology that time as uh, dr ranganathan mentioned about uh, rain water harvesting in ramanathapuram village whatever the model developed it was replicated in sivagangai district if i am correct and uh, dr paran and dr madan were involved in uh, taking the technology <coughs> popularized by dr kamilamma so uh, we had a strong feeling that uh, dr paran was the right person for giving a first endowment lecture today whenever he comes to gandhigram he used to have food in madam house whoever comes to gandhigram they used to have food in madam house and uh, they used to say annapurani So with this few words, I thank all other persons. Thank you, one and all. Let Dr. Kamilama bless us all from the heaven. Thank you. Thank you. It is great to reminisce about good memories of my past. It was enjoyable when it was today. So learning to enjoy today has two benefits. it gives me happiness right now and it becomes a good memory later by george forme dr g pangajam ma'am had served as a vice chancellor of the gandhigram rural institute in 2001 she was brought up in gandhigram and she received her doctorate from madurai kamraj university she has 33 years of teaching experience including 16 years as the principal of lakshmi college of education Gandhi Gram and Dr. G. Pumajaman's research is is on child development, and she earned the full Brightside Fellowship in 1995. And she has guided more than 50 students of MA, MPhil, and PhD students. I invite Dr. G. Pumajaman, former Vice Chancellor, to share about the beautiful memories of Dr. N. Kamalamu with us. Over to you, ma'am. Ah. Thank you, ma'am. Pranam to all those who have participated in this program today. 
in memory of Dr. Kamalamma, my close friend, because we joined together as uh, in 1965. Uh, I remember uh, NCRT has organized a program at Gandhi Gram that is postgraduate diploma in early childhood education, wherein from five states, four further, four southern states, and one uh, northeastern state. And Kamalama had applied for that course as a student, whereas I was there as the honorary principal. Both of, both of us have completed our uh, uh, master's program only on that day, uh, that uh, year, and joined together. So naturally, we were like friends rather than like teachers and students. But fortunately, what happened on her arrival, we found that there was a need for a professor, a lecturer in home science department in GRI. So I told Amma, Dr. Soundram, that I, here is a lady with a MSc home science who has joined this course. She could be deputed to go over there to GRI as a lecturer. That's how Dr. Kamlama joined Gandhi Gram Rural Institute. Since then, we are friends. 1965, remember, some of you might not have even born, uh, but our friendship was as home scientists. And our friendship was like real sisters. In fact, when I was a student in GRI, we had nearly 50% of the students from Kerala. So I have learned Malayalam from them and continued with the uh, Kamalama. After uh, my friends left, after my graduation and my postgraduate, I went to Baroda for a postgraduate program and then I joined uh, here. Then I didn't have uh, any Malayalis, but luckily I had uh, my friend uh, Kamlama to continue with my Malayalam conversation. Not, uh, I don't know how to write, read and write, but uh, I just talk. I talk and I understand. You know, she as a home scientist in a home management, I was in child development and uh, I used to come to GRI uh, for a guest lecture in child development. But even otherwise, with the writing and all, you know, we used to share each other. I did my MSc in Baroda and she did her PhD in Baroda. She used to come and say, hey, what a Pangajam, everybody knows and they, 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 they were talking about you only, they were asking about you and I said, Kamalama, there I, cannot, I could not talk Tamil. I could not talk uh, uh, Hindi so fluently as uh, 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 English. I could not definitely talk uh, Gujarat, but I somehow managed by being active as I have learned to be from Gandhi Gram. Mama and Amma's guidance under their able and uh, systematic way of making things done here in Gandhi Gram made me get so much of recognition even in that uh, university, which used to be a sort of a, an international university with the professors from uh, uh, United States of America. So this is how we have come together. But uh, research as such, 
she has promoted her interest in research after coming back from Baroda, completing her uh, PhD. Because there, we used to have a lot of uh, uh, encouragement from the staff and the uh, atmosphere itself. So, Kamalama's interest started gradually till the end. Pushpa used to tell me that, Madam, she corrected uh, uh, and uh, gave me the final uh, wordings about the thesis which I have guided. Many people used to say, many people used to send uh, their thesis from here to her for uh, correcting. And uh, uh, her interest long, long ago, even before the uh, uh, today, we have got energy center. Systematically doing the technological way of using, utilizing the energy and uh, especially solar energy. Whereas then there was no such a systematic way of doing it. But uh, uh, we are uh, we, we, we were uh, just experimenting. How could that be taken to uh, villages? Kamalama experimented and initiated solar cooker using the mud pots. Still, I remember many times people used to go and see that and then she used to call us from, because then I was in uh, Beer College and uh, we used to have interaction in that way. That's a technology. And uh, especially in um, Ch Chetiapati and Valayapati, she was uh, uh, demonstrating these technologies. That means it was not a research, should not be a paper or in a form of a book. It should be transferred to the villages where action is to be taken care of. And in that way, she has made the technology research to be taken to uh, the villages and experimented with that. In fact, this type of a research alone, you know, through extension. Academic, academic work is not merely teaching in the classroom. Academic work is not just doing the research, but academic work is taking the research from the lab to land, that is extension work. The third component of extension work was carried out by the Department of Home Science in GRA very effectively, even when I was a student. Now we used to go and take care of the nearby villages by walk in the evening after the class was over. We never expected a vehicle. Uh, Krishnamurti and I used to uh, have a big vehicle and occasionally take us to the villages for extension activities. Whereas when there was uh, a, uh, a, 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 an epidemic of uh, eye disease in um, Chittipati, we people were asked to go and apply medicines to those uh, children and uh, the adults. That is the way of utilizing our knowledge of uh, home science in villages, not just only in uh, uh, writing the paper and getting a degree. So Kamalama was instrumental for making the student community. In, in fact, when I was a vice chancellor, a candidate registered from um, Madurai Agriculture University registered for a PhD under uh, Kamalama. The topic was 
computer related diseases how the computer when those who are using the computer get some of the diseases which could be easily be cured and that was the uh, uh, topic of the lady so from solar cooker to that of a computer it was a gradual progress and then made it possible now she encouraged i know all this uh, professors who are working now in gri to take care of uh, the department many times even before my becoming the vice chancellor she used to come to me and then uh, tell and share how she is managing the department of home science and so on at the same time she also used to share with me after me becoming the vice chancellor with a request to enhance the departmental activities as such as a result of which we have uh, uh, brought in some improvement including a, a crash in uh, the uh, attached to a home science department child development and then we made maitri to be in charge of that uh, 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 nursery section that is uh, the crash as such no other you know the avas is the first university to start uh, a crash attached to the uh, university that was the contribution of the department of uh, home science so i am extremely happy to and thankful to kamlamas family members that they have instituted an endowment in the name of dr kamlama every year to be remembered it's not just mere remembrance but to analyze the contributions which were made by her to the department of home science especially her uh, interest in taking the technology rural technology to the rural areas making the extension more meaningful and making our uh, students who are ever is going out of this institute to have complete involvement in any type of activities which they are uh, uh, taking up in the villages so it is highly an apt person that dr param kauda has come because he is not new to uh, gandhi gram and he he knows every one of us because then he was in uh, kanyakumari uh, uh, he used to come and uh, help uh, our projects in gandhi gram and now that he is being honored with uh, padanjali university as a cha- vice chancellor we are really happy that padam gowda param gowda and uh, that uh, you could remember the activities which we have taken up with the help of dr kamalamma the professor uh, of uh, department of home science gandhi gram rural university i'm happy that my friend is being remembered forever uh, in this university he should uh, I, my request to the members of the staff of the university department of home science because men may come and men may go but we go on forever this has to go on forever that's what i used to tell uh, when i instituted in the name of dr saundram Uh, who used to be interested in the welfare of the women and children especially home science in fact when I, i wanted to study political science in gri amma said no you have to take up only home science because i wanted to become the professor of home science in uh, gri but uh, things have got changed uh, in fact uh, Uh, i had uh, sent i could find uh, an apt person who had got, got a lot of the interest in uh, home science uh, to be selected for uh, the department of home science 
and uh, my interest and discipline has been changed as uh, education, of course, education in relating to the child. And I'm known as a child development specialist much more than educationist. And that education, in fact, has helped us in building a system which could uh, be our contribution to the whole nation today by in, uh, instituting an integrated education program in Gandhi Gram University, which has, which I don't think many people know about it, that it is a contribution by us, by Gandhi Gram Rural University. Uh, uh, I request, I bless the uh, staff of the Department of uh, Home Science to be really interested, really committed to the development of uh, uh, our uh, department and uh, make yourself known to the world that you are from Gandhi Gram. I wish you all and uh, I thank Pushpa for taking initiative in instituting this uh, uh, endowment. And uh, let us remember her with gratitude, remember her with love and affection, because I know how many have come up in their life because of Kamalama and because of her encouragement and help, monetary help as well. So uh, thank you very much for uh, asking me to uh, say something about the reminiscence of Dr. Kamalama uh, on this occasion. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. That was so sweet and blissful to hear your experience and friendship with Dr. Kamalama. C for the highest aim. Aim at the highest and you shall reach the highest by Swami Vivekananda. I am so grateful to welcome Dr. Paran Gauta, an eminent professor and director at Patanjali Yogpeet and president of an NGO, Karuna Trust, and practitioner of yoga and meditation for the last 30 years, facilitating and guiding non-governmental organizations across the country in preparing the proposal project and so on. And it's very few to mention in the short span of time, sir. I invite Dr. Paran Gauda, sir, to commence the lecture. Over to you, sir. Thank you, madam. Actually, uh, I could see Dr. Pankajam, Dr. Natarajan, sir, and Dr. Pushpa. They were all the inspiration people when I used to uh, visit Gandhi Gram. <clears throat> I would like to uh, share some of the PowerPoint presentation that uh, I made. Uh, I would like to share those uh, slides in this le uh, lecture series. Uh, Poonam, can you share it? Poonam? Can you hear? Hello. Yes, Pranam, sir. Yes, sir, I'm sharing. Can you share? Poonam is my student, PhD, and from Rajasthan. She is doing her PhD in yoga science. Uh, See, Dr. Kamlamma, I always used to remember her smiling face. Whenever uh, I start from uh, Kanyakumari in the night time, and then early morning I land up uh, in Kamlamma's house. When I land up uh, in her house, the first thing she uh, greets me is not the joy, but her smiling face. No, always I remember that smiling face gracious face uh, that uh, I used to remember my old mother. 
So even now I could see the same qualities in uh, Pushpa and uh, Dr. Uh, Pankajamdi and all Nate Dr. Natesh, uh, all these, uh, they invited uh, some of the best qualities that I could see. Uh, can you just go to the second slide, uh, second slide, Poonam? <clears throat> See, basically, I was from Baba Atomic Research Center, IIT Mumbai, but I turned into a, uh, a Vekananda follower at uh, Vekananda Kendra Kanyakumari. I was very new to the uh, uh, rural technologies. I am absolutely not aware because I was uh, designing the atom bombs and all that in uh, BRC, not the rural technologies. So when I was there in uh, Kendra, our uh, Dr. Lakshmi Kumari, Dr. Uh, Vasudev, uh, Annachi, all these people, no, including Padmanabhanji. I remember Padmanabhanji also, uh, because he was, these are the people who made me to get trained in the rural technologies. What is rural development? All this, my present uh, experiences in the rural technologies, it all goes to Dr. Kamlamma and Dr. Padmanabhanji and others. Uh, first, I remember, uh, she used to handle quite a lot of uh, Department of Science and Technology projects. And uh, I'm totally ignorant of uh, this uh, DST name itself. And when she, uh, we were, I was involved in Kanyakumari, in popularizing the rural technologies, natural resources development project we created at Kanyakumari. It's a new department in 1985. We created this department. And this department, I was made as a secretary there. Then I told our Dr. Lakshmi Kumari, I don't know anything about rural technology because I am basically from IIT. I do not know anything about this. Then he told me, why don't you go to Gandhigram? and learn some of these technologies. So that is the point where I came to Gandhigram, Padmanabhanji introduced me and Kamalamma trained me in these technologies. So I fondly re recall, uh, it was the first time I was involved in the uh, roofing, rural roofing, uh, low cost technologies involved in the housing projects. So she invited me, why don't you come? Kamalamma invited me, why don't you come and uh, make a presentation on the uh, rural housing projects? Uh, I was uh, uh, ready for it, but I was not uh, confident about the rural technology. And when I started in the night, <coughs> then I, I went directly to her house. Then she made me how this, uh, uh, rural development is more important than uh, other uh, developmental activities because India is 75% rural population. Uh, so we have to be, whatever we design, it has to be helpful for the rural communities, especially the housing projects and water projects. Then she asked me, well, okay, no problem. We are, we are all there to encourage you. Uh, so I don't remember the date, but uh, she asked me to make a PowerPoint presentation on the chemical treatment of touches, coconut touches for the uh, rural people. That was the project which was taken under the Ministry of Rural Development, Kapat. And uh, she asked me to make a presentation. There were about uh, 60, 70 participants, if I remember. In that uh, presentation, it was somewhere in a 90s, uh, 90s, I remember, I made a presentation. Then after the everything workshop was over, then she announced that you, you got the first prize. Really that uh, made me to work more and uh, do a lot of research in these fields. And that was the beginning that uh, for the rural development activities and she made me to enter into the uh, use the uh, knowledge, advanced knowledge in the rural development activities. So uh, I was around 27 years old when I came there to Kanyakumari. 
and when i made when kamalamma presented me with that uh, award i felt very happy oh there is somebody who can uh, boost me up then i started uh, to get involved deeply in the rural technologies it is all credit and all uh, goes to her and uh, more than the technology i saw the motherly love and affection she used to suffer whenever i go there she uh, make me you take uh, first bath and then you take a uh, breakfast and then come to the department that was the love and uh, the spirit that i still remember i fondly recall as love mother's love and the same love i am seeing in pushpa no she was i think at that time uh, she was doing research i am not sure but uh, pushpa may be knowing she used to come to our house no then uh, she is introduced me at that time she is a uh, pushpa I, i don't remember whether she was uh, joined as a faculty or you were doing phd under her i'm not sure but uh, now i'm very happy to when she called me pushpa i readily agreed okay okay so nice <coughs> in fact i visit tamil nadu madurai uh, uh, kanyakumari and rameswaram every month i come there and help in the dst projects and the rural development projects water projects no government of india in rameswaram so vasudev ji still i am associated there and uh, dr abdul kalam's uh, blessings we started a green rameswaram project in tamil nadu it is all credit goes to dr kamlamma uh, punam next uh, slide see uh, i told uh, uh, pushpa that uh, i don't know the, uh, i have vague ideas then she shared our uh, presentation of uh, water technologies and energy technologies when i saw that water and energy technology energy technology means basically the renewable energy sources and especially the solar energy and in that the solar cooker and then the water technologies especially roof water harvesting technology uh this roof water harvesting technology i got so much involved hundreds of ngos across the country i could uh, uh, make a part to give grants to the ngos it is all because of kamalamma's uh, technical know how she was uh, sharing in that when pushpa said these technologies i just summarized what are these technologies basically these technologies are filtration technologies and uh, making use of the waste water uh, and then they soak it how the ground water recharging can be done how the filtration process and then the spill water recycling technologies all these details are available with dr pushpa i will not go into the details but it is readily available with madam uh, next punam uh, and the uh, along with water sanitation technologies also she was uh, speaking quite a, uh, quite a lot at that time this uh, sanitation uh, double pit uh, toilet how the ventilated uh, toilets will be useful for the uh, villagers all that still i fondly recall our uh, technology interest and technology love and she used to tell me at that time what all the problems the villagers are uh, facing in uh, conserving the uh, water resources so those problems you know just as summarized from pushpa's uh, uh, presentation uh, next slide please and this is the same uh, the rain water management to the uh, roof water the i used to tell her that uh, chemical treatment of uh, uh, roofing thatches how we can harvest the water because the roof water harvesting basically it involves the concrete surfaces then only we can harvest then she used to tell her, take the raw coconut leaves because it was a technology from csir no rural uh, rrl lab in trivandrum from there we took this technology then she gave value addition to that 
chemical treatment. See, chemical treatment, you, you get rid of uh, CNSL liquid and then you uh, put the raw patches and see a water taste will increase, coconut patches. Still, I remember those words. And 80% uh, of water can be organically value-added water. She gave a lot of inputs at that time and we got uh, projects from the CSIR. Next slide, please. These are all the continuation of the water technologies. Then uh, more than harvesting the water, she used to say how we can apply these technologies for, and bring the nutrition uh, value added thing in the water. That, that is the applications in the home science department. Ultimately, the nutrition also should increase, especially the solar cooker. When we cook the food with the solar energy, how the nutrition content of the food will increase, the composition and all those details. Next slide, please. Now, see, we should not forget whatever the technology she taught. And it should continue with the modern technologies that are available at our disposal. So I thought that, okay, let us take those technologies and uh, do the value addition with the rural uh, materials that are available for filtration. Now you may be aware uh, in the villages, uh, aloe vera, aloe vera material, no? Aloe vera material, it has nanoparticles. All these nanoparticle sizes, it goes in the order of uh, 10 to the power of minus nine centimeters. This is the size of the aloe vera. And aloe vera is, uh, plenty of aloe vera is available in the villages. Why can't we integrate Kamalama's technologies? Uh, water technologies with the aloe vera, which is the best filter media. Now we use uh, so much uh, modern technologies, it's nothing but uh, membrane technologies. So I just suggested to uh, Dr. Pushpa that uh, why can't we go for aloe vera based technologies uh, in the rural uh, development, do that value addition to the uh, Kamalama's technologies and uh, get it popularized in the villages. And, uh, we have to recall, uh, reconnect and relate with the DST because she was so much fond of, which is because of her, I could establish uh, contacts with the Department of Science and Technology. And even now we have taken the COVID-based technologies for our uh, uh, you know, Patanjali University there. Baba Ramdev was also very much interested in this uh, aloe vera technologies. And all our Patanjali food technologies, we have made use of this aloe vera uh, processing, no? It is very simple. Raw material itself, we can uh, just uh, make it as a uh, paste and that will have nanoparticles. And those nanoparticles can be used for all the filtration technologies that was popularized by Dr. Kamalama. And it has many advantages. It is eco-friendly, it is cost-effective, and with the synthesis, uh, a lot of uh, additional technologies can be taken and there's no need for uh, high energy, high pressure, high temperature uh, energy devices if you use aloe vera. So this, if uh, Dr. Pushpa agrees, then we can see how the University of Patanjali and Gandhigram Nutrition uh, Department there, Gandhigram University, we can uh, make a joint uh, venture in this uh, aloe vera technologies for the water filtration technologies that we have to, I don't know how uh, Pushpa will take it up further, but uh, we are ready because uh, Swami Ramdev also told that uh, we should uh, go ahead with the aloe vera based uh, technologies. Uh, next slide, please. And ultimately, you know, it's because of the gravity that the water always comes from top to bottom. Now, using this sensor-based technologies, and uh, we all know how sensor technologies has taken over the modern uh, gadgets in electronic devices. Sensors are the basic uh, uh, materials that can uh, produce energy. It uses uh, uh, materials like uh, alumina, 
ceramics. These are the sensors, basically, materials. And uh, you know, when the, in the night time, when the light falls on the road, no, it starts blinking, no, that uh, you can see the uh, road uh, red lights. Because the light, when it falls on the sensors, it emits light. And that using that light, one can kill the bacteria in the uh, contaminated water. Can you can uh, use the sensor devices. And along with that, even ultraviolet uh, light can be used with this. And that can be produced even, uh, I'm damn sure, with 100 rupees, one can have the filtration technologies using the sensors. And that's what uh, I written here. And the toxic substances, it can be used, it can be removed. That is the main problem in drinking water because of its uh, toxicity. And the titanium, which produces uh, the chemical reaction, that will take care of the toxic materials. This also can be imbibed in this uh, technology. And so that we can put all Kamalama seat number of water-based technologies as a water-based techno water park technologies. Next slide, please. So these are all the materials that are available, which can be used as uh, nano filters and even uh, acoustics. Acoustic means sound waves. The sound waves also one can kill the bacteria in the water. So uh, like pressure, we can build up uh, through uh, shouting at the, uh, the uh, high frequency waves. Next slide, please. So this is the tribute uh, I would like to present before all the well wishes of uh, Dr. Kamala's uh, this uh, uh, memorial lecture. Now, if you all take the decision, we can uh, take up the legacy of uh, Kamala Mas series to be continued with the uh, inputs from the villagers, ultimate beneficiaries are Chinalpati and uh, Dindigal, all the surrounding villages. We can uh, involve the people in the next memorial lecture series so that you know, water, what she was very much fond of, these water based technologies, along with this uh, modern sensor based technologies, that is the tribute that we can pay to her. And the, the villagers will fondly recall our uh, uh, gracious smile, and that will remain eternally if you continue with the technologies with the uh, in combination with the modern sensor technologies. Next slide. Oh, this is the yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the last slide. So this is how uh, actually I was traveling from. Uh, uh, Shillong, Meghalaya to Arunachal Pradesh. So I am on the way. Actually, by 11 30, I suddenly remembered, then I stopped the vehicle. Then uh, we are sitting myself and uh, my colleague from uh, uh, Vidya Bharti. Uh, he is also there. We were, uh, uh, when she called me, then immediately we stopped the vehicle and we sat on the roadside. You can listen to the sounds. Sorry for any disturbances. Uh, that we are hearing the extra sounds here. Uh, Dr. Pankajam, Dr. Nathajan Sar, and all uh, other people, I'm unable to recall uh, those names, but I could see their faces very much here. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Pushpa and others. Thank you, sir. Everything that has a beginning, which has an ending, make your peace with that and all will be well. I invite Dr. S. Kavita Maisli, ma'am, Associate Professor, Department of Home Science, to deliver Oath of Thanks. Over to you, ma'am. We are unable to hear 
let her unmute and talk. Huh. Good morning. It's my privilege to propose both of thanks on this first Dr. N. Kamarama Memorial Endowment Lecture on recording technologies popularized by our beloved Madam Dr. N. Kamarama. So this first uh, uh, death anniversary of our Madam, we are starting this program with this endowment lecture. And I want to say a few words about our madam before proposing the vote of thanks. Our madam is a woman of deeds. She taught us more through her actions than through her words. Her love, compassion, empathy, innovative ideas, charity, huh? not only reach thousands and thousands of students in her more than four decades of service, but also it reached, she served the, to, she served to raise the health and nutritional status and sanitary conditions of hundreds of rural households. So, uh, so not all, her service is a remarkable one and her life is a message for her, for us. So it is our prime duty to remember her by continuing her services to students of the rural mosque. My sincere thanks to our Vice Chancellor in Church, Dr. T. Raghunathan. <coughs> for his presidential address of this endowment lecture. And also I express my heartfelt thanks to our beloved Madam, Dr. Chief Pandeja Ma'am, our former Vice Chancellor, uh, for signing her memories with Kamala Ma'am. Ma'am, Ma uh, you briefed her achievements and these achievements and victories will be enriching our students and it will give a better view about our Madam. And also, I thank my <clears throat> sincere thanks to Dr. Parangauda, Professor, Department of Yoga Sciences, University of Padanchali, Haridwa. Sir, as you suggest, we will do value addition of Dr. Kamlama Man's technologies and we will upgrade the technologies and, to, and we will take it to the rural areas further as a service to her. I also appreciate and thank the efforts taken by Madam's family members of Minaka and Gitaka for sponsoring this endowment lecture. Through this endowment lecture, Madam's achievements and her contributions to rural society and her virtues will be more popularized among the younger generation in all the coming years. Thank you all. And also I thank our head of the department, Dr. S.S. Vijayanchali, for delivering the welcome address for this endowment lecture. And our uh, beloved Madam Dr. K. S. Puspa, who is the coordinator of this endowment lecture, for organizing this program. Thank you, both of them. And also, I like to thank all our staff members, teaching, non-teaching, research scholars, students, for this program. And also, I thank Cargo Infotech for providing the technical support in um, live telecasting this program. And I thank one and all all the participants who joined this program in remembering the, our beloved Madam Dr. N. Kamala. She will be remembered for her, for her achievements, for her love, her empathy, for her compassion. Thank you, Olinda. Thank you, ma'am. Learn everything that is good from others, but bring it in and in your own way and observe it. Do not become others. Thank you all. Thank you, ma'am.